Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creator Connections Readings. My name is Jean, how is you? Yeah, yeah. And this is going to be a pick a pile reading to see how do people perceive you? Okay, yes, I think we're going to do that. Okay, if before I do that, if you're interested in like weekly healing sessions with the group via Zoom for $11.11, .11, you can email me. I do light language and stuff like that. Um, personal readings, etc. All of my info is in the description box down below. Okay, so we have four piles to pick from as usual. For pile number one, we have this really cool smoky quartz point. For pile number two, we have this really cute sea turtle. Boop, 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 boop. Making the energy. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> and then for pile number three, we have the. Doo -doo -doo <laughs> uh, rose quartz, okay, mm, very intense energies. And then for pile number four, we have, we have this incense stick, okay, I feel so like, <laughs> um, with all the piles so far, so we're gonna see what the people think of y'all, okay? Uh, so yeah, those are the four piles to pick from to once again see what people think of you, how do people perceive you. Pick your pile and I will see you there. I think this is gonna be interesting. Satnam, pile number one, for those of you picked, who picked the, uh, uh, the smoky quartz points, okay? This is gonna be a reading to see how people perceive you. It's interesting because I, as I finish off the puzzle, like, the energy felt very much like this, but just as I wrote down your timestamp, pile number one, I immediately felt like people actually experience you as, I'm hearing dark and gloomy now, but people experience you as very, um, like 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 grounded or secure or something you might not think this i'm hearing now like no and i feel like like people might have actually told you that you that they don't experience you like this if somebody has told you that they experience you as very like um out there or that person was actually like purposely trying to hurt you or something like that okay so let's see for pile number one for pile number one like, people actually experience you as very, um, like, almost like a safe space is what I'm getting. Like, even if you are very flamboyant or very colorful, I don't think you are. You might be, though. Some of you, one or two of you. Okay? But um, if you are, like, I feel like your energy is 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 thusly and suchly. It looks like a Milky Way in there, I'm noticing. Oh, my God. Um, your energy is so that like people just feel very safe with you, okay? Like really, even even if they experience you as a lot or something, but I don't think people do. And again, if somebody did experience you as a lot um, and they told you that, they were probably trying to hurt your feelings. So we have the Seven of Cups, or the Seven of Water rather, King of Air, Ten of Fire. How do people perceive pile number one? And the, mm -hmm, okay, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, exactly. Intuition, heaven, earth, choice. Um, choice also with that seven of water. Okay, well. <sighs> Pile number one. Already I can tell you, people experience you that you are, uh, you in a, in, a, in a way that you're very clear with your, with your um, intellect. You're very clear with your um, meaning, okay? Like you're very clear with what you say. Uh, you're very clear with what you feel to be right or um, like you, you're not af really afraid to say something, okay? You're not afraid to like make something known if, if you're not like happy with it or if you are happy with it, okay? I feel like, I feel like um, it's interesting because the seven of water, the king of air and the ten of, and the ten of wands, I feel like people might feel, um, I feel like that is a group, uh, li like uh, that is a, a a way people perceive you, but I also feel like the Ace of Pentacles is how people perceive you once they actually get to know you, okay? Just saw triple four again, okay? So I feel like people people at first perceive you as um, somebody that is very... Um, 
like again you might be very you might i don't want to say harsh with what you say you might just be very direct is the word very direct with what you say and i feel like sometimes people don't think that what uh, sometimes people think that what you say don't make sense or what you say is confusing or what you believe is confusing stuff like that okay um, but again, like, I feel like once they get to know you, they actually, I feel like people actually understand that the reason why you seem so like, blue, 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 is because you're actually grounding a lot of intense energies. You're actually carrying some kind of burden on you. Um, and I feel like people notice, people perceive you as carrying some kind of spiritual burden, maybe. That's also, or a spiritual confusion, maybe a spiritual searching, searching for God or something, okay? Um, that, that might also be why people uh, experience you as safe. It's because they feel in some way this truthful or directness or like you also kind of being like, a number, number. Uh, like people relate with that uh, in a, at a core level, in a soul level, okay? Um, but now I'm hearing even like people in some way also perceive that you do this confusion or this very um, intense energy like in a good way, like you do it well, okay? Whew. I'm getting manic pixie girl even, um, like that kind of energy. But I'm again getting some kind of gloomy, darkish kind of energy. Some of you might work a lot with darker energies like cleansing dark energies that's also maybe sometimes why you're a little bit erratic because it, it, like i feel like you're like you feel so much energy around you um you're a very sensitive being i feel okay um but like in a in a, in a light way not in an emotional empath way in a light way like as in like the sun light uh, i don't know how else to explain this energy uh, this was a very like high vibe kind of vibe here uh, so let's see, let's see. Almost like uh, with, with light and high vibe, I mean almost like needing to transmit actual light into like human thoughts. Okay, like I feel like like you experience everything on that level, whether you know this or not. And I feel like people's souls recognize this, okay? Seven of Cups with the Nine of Cups reverse. Interesting. I again got this energy. Some people might perceive you. Some haters might perceive you, pile number one, as a, like also I did a I did a collective with this kind of energy. I can't remember which one today, but um somebody might experience you as being like like in a fake it till you make it energy, but not as in a like fake it till you make it. They experience that it as like fake it till you make it. Like like this is late. Like you're lame, bro, or something like that. Okay. Uh, somebody might like people might perceive you as also consistently looking for something i need to say that um that might be god or that might be some kind of wish fulfillment okay king of king of air six of pentacles i feel like Again, this this is consistently being drawn back to a bigger picture. I feel like people people tend to misjudge you at first. Okay, people tend to misjudge you maybe as very naive or ditzy or um, not ditzy, but like very just like like um oppervlakkig, like shallow maybe even like emotionally shallow shallow or something like that. But like again, once you start speaking or once you start expressing yourself, even if it is in an erratic way or in a in a very gloomy depressed way or in a childlike way um people start to realize like whoa what the fuck something like that okay like whoa this person is actually um quite balanced and not just like like mentally or emotionally or something like like actually fucking balanced like this person actually has some kind of something something up okay and I feel like people people perceive this quite early on with you. Like again, like like the first, uh, like by by your appearance and then by the way you express your emotions, maybe on your face, people perceive you as some kind of like yeah, uh, don't take them too seriously. But once they once you again once you like oh hi how are you and then they find out just a little bit more about you, they're like whoa this person is actually. Um, I don't know, again, carrying some kind of something on their back, but it's like, I don't know, it feels kind of noble or valiant or some shit like that. 
the world, yeah. <laughs> like, the, I keep seeing Atlas with the world, like this Ten of Wands, somebody carrying the world on on his back. And that's what I'm seeing now, okay? Like, people perceive that in you. Um, th This Ace of Pentacles could even be that, like this sphere, this world that you're carrying on your back. But again, it feels like some kind of mental anguish or like, again, like this is giving me like tortured artists, but not really. It's giving me more like, like a tortured philosopher. Like, who are we? Where art thou, God? Some kind of vibe like that, okay? <laughs> something like that okay um but again i feel like people experience it still in some way as very grounding or very safe because i don't know it's almost like people feel safe with the fact that you love god or that you search for god so much pile number one okay despite the confusion despite the burden despite the yeah, exactly. And I feel like people people also experience you as very independent. They're like, whoa. Like, um, like like some people, most people are very, are very um most people are very um like content with just like being like, you know what, this is what I was taught and I'm okay with that. You're not. And I feel like people perceive that in you. People like perceive you as like willing to, I'm even getting with this nine of pentacles, like really go the distance in a way of like you, you you'll go at it alone in search for this thing. You'll go out at it alone in um like if you have to carry this burden alone, you will, but you need to know the truth. You need to uh speak the truth, you need to express the truth, okay? Even if this truth is something sometimes shitty 11 11 even if this truth is sometimes confusing and it leads to um like like losing or or lack of wish fulfillment and people perceive that people perceive you to be very true okay despite it being some kind of burden on you okay sometimes is what i'm seeing here pile number one and again that is some kind of very cleansing very refreshing but in a very like like interesting way to people okay <clears throat> people, I also do need to see, I uh, say, Palin Run, people perceive you as very independent, for some people a little bit too uh, independent, but come on. Um, and also people see you as very abundant, okay? I also think people perceive you as very beautiful. That might be why people perceive you as like ditzy or like uh, shallow, okay? It's because people see you maybe having like nice things, looking good, being confident, and they think, oh, this person, probably shallow, but actually you're carrying something very heavy and you're carrying this uh uh what's what's that song um sure i'm a pretty girl up in a pretty world but they say pretty hurts and i don't want to sit still i'm again getting that kind of vibe for you pal number one okay i feel like that is sufficient thank you so much please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one Satnam, bye. Satnam, a pal, and number two for those of you who picked this sea turtle this is going to be a reading to see what, how do people perceive you? I just got that turtle from, from, um, <laughs> Divine Sydney. Sydney down under? What the fuck, John? Come on, guy. Like, give the messages clearly. <laughs> No, I'm being told that's just my own filter. Um, I'm, I'm, I got this, this, this turtle from, um, Finding Nemo. I can't remember. Like, I'm trying to zone in on that energy, like what they did, like, sweet something like that like maybe people perceive you as very chill very like good to hang with very like um like islandy vibes maybe even okay but let's see so intuition the scribe this is already giving me the same energy as the previous one but like we're at pile number two now destiny okay <laughs> Okay. And then the eight of swords. <laughs> you know what I'm getting here? Pile number two. I feel like I'm getting this energy. As people perceive you as like really not caring. People perceive you as like maybe having some kind of big destiny or pursuing some kind of big destiny. Um doing something like very far out very like some of you might be also like intuitives or healers or something like that some like people perceive you as somebody that maybe has a lot going for them but like it's almost like you don't care too much you're like a little bit too like 
dude you know like you're like bad with it okay and and i also feel like some people experience you if you resonate with talking with god you know talking with like divine energies and channeling divine energies and you know speaking with creator people experience you as like like i feel like people feel that pile number two people experience that um awakening energy through you but they also feel kind of like but like this is not what we one triple four this is not what i expected like this is what the fuck like i don't think this is this would be like creator consciousness i don't think this would be like divine or something because you're just like blue 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 okay that's the kind of energy i'm getting um but this is actually giving me a very act like a very like enlightened or a very wise energy because again like like uh you know, if there's a story of saying when we find enlightenment or once when we reach it, when we remember enlightenment, we realize, you know, you would tilt your head back and just laugh at everything because you realize there was ne never anything else to realize. It was like life is life. Um, but there's this like very like almost like mad hattery unhinged energy attached to that okay um not that you are unhinged or anything like that or crazy it's just that i don't know it's this energy of people people perceive some kind of very profound destiny energy around you but it's almost like you're not taking it that seriously it's almost like you're very much like even in some ways, maybe hiding it or something or playing small with it or something. Okay. Like, again, I feel like people see like intuition, the scribe, destiny, like, like what the fuck, you know, and people feel that when they communicate with you, but they perceive you again as just like being like, you know like that's the vibe i'm getting <laughs> and i don't think people necessarily understand that quite honestly okay but that is it ultimately isn't it it's kind of being like just like 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 that is it at least for you i guess you know and if it wasn't true to some extent people wouldn't be experiencing it either right Excuse me for spiritual burps, just digesting those demons. Just digesting those monsters. So let's see, for pile numero dos. What more? I really like this energy though, pile uh, number two. It's almost like people even perceive you as like very, um, I don't know, like when, when they look at you, they might perceive you as very like... Doof. Like, very, like, or when they hear about you, or once they just start talking to you, that they might think you're very, like, one of those spiritual people, like, like, namaste, you know, like, I need to align my asshole chakra to be in alignment with this, this, like, shit like that, okay, and, like, I don't eat that, and, like, but you're not like that at all, but still, you have this very divine energy, okay, <laughs> This is like being, this is like seeing, like seeing Buddha go to a McDonald's and eating a patty burger. And you're like, what the fuck, Buddha? And he's like, what? You know, that's the vibe I'm getting here. He's still Buddha, you know, like still very, yeah. Anyway, Ace of Wands, exactly. I see, I think you really shift people's perception on what it means to be connected with intuition, what it means to be connected with God. It's almost like you bring some kind of new, like, like understanding in in a in a very um set dark space when it comes to what it means to follow god what it means to follow your intuition what it means to be spiritual um the lovers yeah i feel like i feel like you really reflect a lot of divine qualities to people pile number two and i feel like people see that people perceive that in you okay Ace of Pentacles reverse. I do think sometimes... Mm, interesting. This is double-edged. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I do think sometimes people think you are a little bit ungrounded. I do think sometimes people think you are a little bit... Um, 
But I mean, even being told that's not the case because that very quickly changes into it's almost like you see these spheres almost like coming from the sun, from the great central sun, from God. It's almost like the scribe, like God speaking and then um, stuff happening, coming into this earth. It's almost like people perceive you as somebody, people perceive you as a very big destiny, as something sent by God, as something sent by some kind of divine um consciousness okay because not everybody believes in like god as in one but anyway um ultimately there is just one god i mean like the law of oneness right anyway um people perceive you as being sent by this coming from this coming from this um divinity with some kind of destiny okay but again like it's not what people expected because you're in foolish energy you're in this like no, 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 no. like that's foolish but that's your energy and that's like God's energy, right? And that's not what people expected. I'm hearing somebody say you're God's energy. Like, okay. Like, calm down. <laughs> like, I don't even think that's probably not even somebody watching, but I do know somebody is watching here that shouldn't be. Lady. The star reverse. Exactly. I don't think I don't think a lot of people take you seriously. I even think like interesting that that energy would come up with that lady and like the sacrifice energy. Like I think people don't take you that seriously and other like maybe even star beings or whatever don't take you that seriously because you don't take the mission that seriously because like I don't think it's that serious to you. Okay. Um, even though you want to heal, you want to help like um, at least this is going to be your energy very soon, pile number two. Even though you want to be there, you want to help, you want to be like, yay, like, you're just not taking it that seriously. And some people, I feel like, are perceiving it in a sense of like, mm, 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 mm. you need to realign those chakras, bro. Like, like, but whatever, right? Like, fuck off, fuck all the way off. Uh, two of Cups. Again, with that lover's card that I saw as well, I, I, I do see... I do see people seeing you as, as some kind of divine reflection. I do need to say, pal number two, there might be somebody very specific here that also is watching you um, and loving you, loving on you, okay? The Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, people see you as very ungrounded, pal number two. <laughs> But like Prince of Swords, Justice, you know, like, I am the storm is what I'm hearing. <laughs> like, like, so what? Like, if you're a little bit ungrounded, like, that's, that's the whole point. Like, so, so, so what if you're in a, in a Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Reverse Energy, like, not grounded. You're a Queen of Heaven. You're the Queen of Heaven. You're God's Queen. You're God's King. Uh, so, like, what you gonna say? Kind of vibe, Okay. The sun reverse. That is again actually giving me this energy because it's flowing from the scribe, which is divine information, which is divine knowledge, which is divine um, truth, okay? Judgment reverse. Yeah, people don't recognize the divinity that you are, pal number two. People do not recognize the divinity that you are. At least... Um, at first, okay, but I feel like if you, if you choose this path, part number two, if you choose to be this path that you are, uh, for, for not to be recognized by your divinity, uh, for your divinity by people, by groups, by, um, institutions or whatever, I am being told that there, uh, you will, you will be recognized for your divinity as, and to have been sent by God, this like sun coming down, the star coming down, this, um, divine consciousness coming down, the star seed, you know, embodying that Christ energy embodying that Christ um, heart space, somebody is going to see that. There's like this two of cups um, and this ace of wands above all else is like really overpowering the rest of the energy now. Um, so even if you are not seen by people, you are seen to be extremely divine and a divine, like a gift from above by somebody, okay? Ten of cups, look at that. Look at that. This 
Five of Pentacles, King of Earth, Ace of Wands. This might, this might, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, ooh, Heaven, Earth. Um, part number two, I feel like, I feel like, okay, like, like, take the whole message as I just told it, but you need to focus on the fact that there's somebody very specific. Um, that is like really seeing you as like the begin or end or okay, um, like like and I feel like it's this it's this energy. Oh my god, it's this energy of like um, I'm hearing. I want to spend my lifetime loving you. If that is all in life I'd ever do. So even even if you have this big destiny, I, I just heard big frequency. Even if you triple four again, even if you have this big destiny or something, I feel like there's actually some kind of person or some kind of very close uh, love situation, like a two of cups situation that's actually overshadowing everything. And that might also be why people think you're not focusing on the mission enough, pile number two, okay? Well, fuck him, okay? Because life is nothing without love, right? And we're doing this for love. And not for the love of humanity, da, da, da. yes, 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 but f firstly for the love of God and then for the love of humanity. But your love of humanity comes through this person and your love of God is going to be reflected through this person or is reflected through this person. Okay, Palm number two. That's fucking beautiful. Again, look at this Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness. Uh, thank you so much, Palm number two. That was your reading. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you again for another one. Satnam, Palm number three. For those of you who picked this rose quartz, this is going to be a reading to see how people perceive you. Already I can tell you that people perceive you as very loving and very caring, okay? People can perceive you as also very sweet. And some people perceive you as being, like, overly sweet, like too sweet. I just saw triple five, okay? So we have the hero. Nice. That's a good card to hire. And integrity. Um, I feel like, yeah, Ten of Cups, Abundance, and the Ace of Cups. I feel like somebody loves you. Maybe a Two of Cups isn't saying that. Maybe go check out pile number two, I think. Um, I feel like somebody loves you. I feel like this is going to be a specific person. There's a specific person that sees you as very strong, uh, very beautiful, very voluptuous, some kind of like sexual like like energy, like uh, like very specifically your waist, like your tummy maybe even. Um, but I feel like somebody sees you as very uh, like heroic, very brave, very just, okay, very honorable as well. Um... I kind of wanted to go now into energy of what other people think, but I feel like it's mainly this person, okay? Um, what am I still feeling here? I think this person feels that you are very true. I'm even hearing... I'm even hearing a life partner, okay? Somebody thinks, pile number three, somebody, like, really recognizes your, um, like, rose quartz energy, which is unconditional love, okay? And this unconditional love stretches far beyond just sexual lover's love. It stretches into um, unconditional love, like, like, like you're some kind of hero. You're some kind of something like really uh, profound to this person. I'm being drawn to the movie Braveheart by Mel Gibson, uh, with Mel Gibson, you know, the Scottish one. Um, I don't know, maybe you tend to like really fight for what you love, fight for what you want. You really, um, you always do the right thing or you, at least you always try to do the right thing. And I feel like that is mainly the reason why this person actually loves you, okay? Um, this person might have fallen in love with some kind of physical attribute. Again, I'm seeing the, the chests, the, the boobs. Um, so maybe this person might have like noticed you for your beauty or something like that, but then they fell in love with your heart space. They fell in love with your character, with the sun and the temperance, they fell in love with your 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 um <clears throat> like with your soul, okay, your integrity, your uh, willingness to do the right thing, to um yeah, to be the right thing even is what I'm hearing, okay. So let's see for pile number three, what is what is this person? How does this person perceive them? I guess how do people perceive them? But I'm being told to get from the top. Now I'm seeing the two of cups reverse though. Hmm. Ten of pentacles. 
the star, three of cups reverse as well, king of swords, queen of swords, eight of wands. Hmm. What is this two of cups reverse? Because all of a sudden I got this energy of maybe somebody is seeing you as a cash cow. And now I'm seeing the, the, the princess of swords, king of cups reverse, seven of pentacles. You know what I'm feeling? Maybe, mm, okay, I see. Okay, I see. You see, you know what I'm seeing here, problem number three? This is probably somebody that either put you in a three of cups situation, like a third party situation, or maybe they took money from you, or they didn't recognize the love that you were to them, that you were giving. Um, and then you went on this hero's journey, you went on this thing, you know, you healed, like you, you fully, full on healed yourself um, in a good way with integrity as a hero would, you know, you didn't go and like start killing people. You just kind of like, even though you might have had obviously an, an emotional reaction, like you were sad, but like you didn't do anything. Um, I'm hearing out of the ordinary. Either way, like you healed, you healed from some kind of two of cups uh, in the reverse. And I feel like it's actually this person that is noticing uh, your integrity now. This person is noticing that you are their ten of cups, okay? I feel like this person also realizes now that, um, like maybe this person thought you were in it for the money, or maybe this person was in it for the money or something like that. Okay. But, um, after the fact, again, this person is seeing that this person is maybe like thinking back, reminiscing about like about you and being like, Oh my God, it's actually this person. This person is actually so loyal. So, um, uh, heroic, so true, so, like, I'm even hearing humble, okay, even though you might not see it sometimes, seven of swords, yeah, this was definitely somebody that had some kind of king of swords, yep, <clears throat> that made some kind of, like, wrong judgment call on you, okay, but there is going to be a new beginning, because, again, I feel like this person did lie to you in some way, okay, um, but there is going to be this new beginning, we're going to see a little bit more into this lie, this person might have lied to you, I'm getting now, because this person was perceiving you to be lying as well, okay, so that is why they thought that, like, they're going to get one over on you before you could do it to them, or something like that, um, Ten of Wands, yeah, but this person is burdened now because they realize that that you are their star, you are their wheel of fortune, you are this hero, you are where their greener pastures lie, where their balance, their equal reciprocity, equal give and take lies, okay? Um, and they've made that decision. Like, I feel like they're, yeah, they're wanting to come towards you very quickly with this, with this communication, pile number three. This person, I feel like, I, I want to say they feel really bad because, like, they know that the two of cups is in reverse because of them or they know that the two of cups um isn't supposed to be in reverse it is actually a two of cups but like they were being deceptive and they decided to do something deceptive okay maybe they wanted to be single or maybe they thought even for some of you they thought you wanted to be single they thought maybe you were some kind of femme fatale or they thought um they thought that you just wanted their money by lying or something like that like there was a whole lot of lies and deception here Okay, I wouldn't be surprised that there was some kind of like third party as well. Um, somebody like like a family or a friend or a lover or somebody trying to interfere with that. Okay. But there's about to be very quick movement here, okay? There's about to be very quick movement in regards to and then the sun in regards to this um this 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 situation okay i feel like this person feels very burdened i feel like they they might perceive they might have perceived you as being burdened as well at some point okay but again you healed from that 10 10 there's some kind of completion happening and then a new beginning right but they might have experienced you as being burdened but maybe they they've been seeing you not being burdened and now they're and and that is making them realize um not in a sense of like exactly two of cups not in a sense of like oh now you realize it's just them seeing that you are, that you healed is kind of cementing the fact that you are this star. You healing and staying in integrity was just cementing to them the fact that you are actually the two of cups, which they kind of just turned over and threw away, okay? And this person wants to come through with some kind of very quick, very... Um, 
like 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 a kind of energy okay like like they just want to tell you something yeah they want to bring they want to bring healing they want to bring like balance to the situation as well i feel like they want to exactly heaven earth six of cups and the three of cups they want a reunion uh they've been thinking about you they've been studying this um exactly devil two of cups maybe for some of you this person was afraid that you put love magic on them or this person was afraid that you were from the devil or something like that i don't know why that would be the case and that's why this thing ended um but again like now they see that you're in this integrity you're in this hero energy and they want to come with this gift this reconciliation of heaven earth they want to give this balance they want to give this maybe this person was in devilish energy or you were either way like the both of you are seeing like something i feel like this person perceiving you um is perceiving you differently they're not perceiving you as devilish they're actually perceiving you as very balanced again very loyal very much in integrity and now they want reunion with you pile number three um emotion intellect after some kind of balance the child this person might either have a child a destiny or you're destined to have a child with them or what was the other energy i just felt uh, like like this person could have thought that you were acting like a child or this person was just acting from a wounded child space or something like that okay um but now they perceive you like they they want to make very quick movement towards you upon birth because they see that you are the two of cups I mean, they, they turned this two of cups over with deception and lies and burdens some chaotic energy um, simply because they didn't think that you were being true. OK, the lovers reverse. I feel like they might have even chosen somebody else, but it was because they were defensive and confused. So do be aware that this person, I feel like this person has true intentions towards you. Um, <clears throat> which is a 10 of pentacles, but that's not just about money. T t the 10 of pentacles is like, listen, like if we're going to do this and you're going to stick it out, then I'll stick it out. And then, but then it's going to be a life together. That kind of vibe. That's how this person sees you. Okay. And again, they see you as they see you as somebody that they can build that with, but it's going to be up to you whether you're going to accept this, uh, even with the six of, uh, with the six of cups, this apology, there's this gift of, of love. This gift, I'm even hearing a gift of grace. Race. this gift of like um understanding like i feel like this per this person is hoping that you would understand why they acted the way they acted or something like that okay just as they've been thinking they want you to think about this as well okay thank you so much pal number three that was your reading please to consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one Bye. sad nam pile number four for those of you who picked this incense stick this is going to be a reading to see how do people perceive you. I think you already people like you make an impression with people because you smell good. Maybe you like to wear like cologne and stuff like that. I don't know why I put them there. Um, hmm. Some of you might also like to smoke. So people perceive that fact about you. Or you might just like incense. People might perceive you as being spiritual, okay, uh, with the incense. Like maybe you like burning incenses. Maybe you like using oils or essences or herbs, stuff like that. So, yeah, the fourth air. The ace of wands. The devil, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the king of earth, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Wisdom, abundance, yeah, to a fire, yeah. Yeah, there there is somebody around you. Pile number four. Um, I feel like I feel like somebody perceives you as being on some kind of spiritual journey uh, for money and fame is what I'm hearing here, okay? I feel like somebody is experiencing you as um, being on in the spiritual process of learning spirituality simply in order to connect with the devil um, or something like that, simply in order to gain power or something like that. Um, I feel like people, uh, I think, 
I'm going to keep it general. I, th there are people that perceive you as simply as, as it's almost like they're saying or they're perceiving your spirituality or your, um, your spiritual process. I feel like more they're saying this. They're like gossiping about you, quite honestly, is what I'm feeling, pal number four. They're gossiping about the fact that like your spirituality um, like has no life or something like that. Like it's all just regurgitated bullshit or something like that. Like you just read something and then you then you repeat that over and over again, something like that, okay? Um, they're also saying, some people might actually be perceiving you as being some kind of devil worshipper uh, or a, a worshipper of, of of money, a worshipper of Amon, or an, I don't know what the what money is called again in um, the Bible, but I feel like that's the truth. People are saying or experiencing you as simply wanting control, uh, praying to the devil, um, doing some kind of conniving, like using your wisdom for your own personal gain, basically, okay? That is how somebody here perceives you. I'm hearing moths to a flame, okay? I'm I'm also being drawn to the to the to the stories of uh, Jesus and the Pharisees, like the Pharisees continuously going towards Jesus and saying bullshit, like he is a devil worshiper and shit like that. Okay, but that's like moths to the flame because every time he would discredit them with his like abundance of um with his abundance of 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 wisdom, his abundance of knowledge. Okay, two of fire. This. Mm, What am I feeling here? This is this is a much denser energy, pile number four, quite honestly, okay? It's almost like somebody perceives you as being false light. Like, instead of being the sun, you're some kind of ace of, ace of wands, some kind of, like, light bulb, you know, trying to play yourself off as, as light. Somebody is saying that about you, okay? This might be somebody that is very, like, just, that is themselves actually very just 3D centered. Like, it's almost like they can't look past this world. And we all know the devil is the god of this world, right? So maybe this person should check themselves, uh, pile number four. <laughs> like, but, um, yeah, I feel like somebody is, somebody is, um, I even feel like somebody is trying to study you and, and somebody is like, somebody is like perceiving you, the emperor, somebody, you know what, you know what, because the emperor was actually in reverse just now, now when I saw it, um, now it's in the upright, which is good. I feel like somebody somebody perceives you as as somebody again that is utilizing um, control or power that they have in order to to to. I'm even hearing like energy vampire, like 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 leech off of others to manifest like abundance for yourself or to manifest money or stability for yourself or something like that okay uh, you know what i feel this is this person might say that you are being overly controlling or that you are overly controlling or they just experience you i don't even know if you know this person though but i feel like this person quite honestly is just jelly belly of your emperor status or of the fact that you are able to take control of the fact that you were able to maybe even wrestle the devil something like that okay um but i feel like maybe they're trying to maybe they're trying to convey it's again like the pharisee saying you can only exercise those demons because you come from their ruler because you work with them something like that okay um I feel like that's sufficiently explained. Actually, let me get more. Strength reverse. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this person is 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 perceiving you to be very false. This person is perceiving you to be very, again, this king of pentacles. Um, somebody is perceiving you to be very false or very um like you lack strength and that's why you need to because this ace of the it was the ace of wands that gave me that like energy leeching vampire uh vibes and uh, this the strength in reverse clarifying that is again giving me this vibe like somebody perceives you as somebody that needs like constant energy or reinforcement from somebody or something else okay um which is true ultimately for you upon before because you need constant reinforcement and and reassurance and energy from god God, 
right? Um, just because this person thinks you're worshipping some devil doesn't make it so, okay? Um, you might be very comfortable with the darkness, and that is where you learned a lot of God and of yourself. But this person, I feel like, quite honestly, is trying to, I'm hearing discredit. This person is trying to convey or twist the energy in such a way that you seem to be... Um, like power centered or like evil five of swords clarifying the devil exactly this person might have even told lies along the facts of that like you are sacrificing people for the devil or some shit like that but i feel like this person is trying to sacrifice you they're trying to like sacrifice your character or sacrifice your power or something like that by having um people think this about you okay because i quite honestly feel like this people is talking this person is talking about you these people maybe even okay like they're 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 not just like perceiving this about you they're talking about you okay this is this perception is very much a physical thing that they are expressing or um that is in this realm okay Somebody might even be saying that you're praying to the devil or that you're working for the devil, like, 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 like very consciously, like you, you do it consciously. You're like, oh, hey, Satan, please do this and this and this. Like, I feel like that is how somebody perceives you and how they convey you to other people as well. Okay. The hermit. Um, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like it's again, this person is, this person is very jealous of the fact that you have some kind of connection with God and that this connection makes you very like authoritative in your energy. Um, and that you carry some kind of very profound wisdom. I feel like this person is actually about to be in some kind of hermit state. Like somebody is about to be sat down. I feel, uh, like, I feel like, like, um, God is coming through and being like, like, you want to keep saying shit like this. You want to keep like throwing this. This bullshit weird energy at this person um, who's really just trying to stand in line and trying to do the best they can with what they have um, I'm gonna sit you down and show you show you what it means to be a devil worshiper is what I'm hearing what the fuck um, I feel like God is gonna teach somebody a lesson here actually in regards to like um, you want to you want to see what you want to know what it means to be evil you want to know what it means to like 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 actively pray to evil and pray for evil let me fucking show you that's the energy i'm getting here because this person is I'm, I'm getting this person is is, is 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 a real work it's like like wow you're a real piece of work uh person because this person i feel like is projecting a lot of bullshit onto you okay um this person might even just fear you, okay? And that's why they keep projecting this energy onto you. Because It's because they're afraid of you. They don't understand. Um, but King of Pentacles keeps showing itself. I feel like, and the Empress, this might be somebody else, uh, like two people li lying or discussing you as well. But I feel like this person needs to understand that if they value money, for instance, above all else, like material possessions above all else, that makes them the devil worshiper because the devil, once again, is the god of this world um, from, from a Christian religious perspective, right? Not that he is greater than creator, it's just that he has reign and control over this world. So if you worship money or status or something like that, um, you're the devil worshiper. Knowledge sage. You have a lot of spiritual knowledge. And I feel like this person feels like you get the spiritual knowledge again from the devil. <laughs> um, that is this person's perception. This person perceives you as utilizing magic for your every whim to get whatever you want. Um, this person perceives you as somebody that utilizes all this knowledge and wisdom simply to, to manipulate and take control over people, okay? But I feel like that's what this person is doing. This person might be spying on you and actually get or actually getting tarot being done on you. Um, truly, truly though, I feel like exactly this person is just jealous of your knowledge. This person is jealous of the fact I'm even getting for some of you, this person or these people, um, are jealous at the fact that even if they try to sacrifice you, it didn't work. They're jealous at the fact that you have this authority and the spiritual knowledge, the spiritual power, simply by being yourself, even maybe knowledge or power over the devil. These people might actually be devil worshippers consciously. 
but they might just be trying to make you seem like you are the evil one, uh, but they know that they are, okay? But they're, they're, they're angry because I feel like for some of you, um, they weren't initiated, you weren't initiated into any kind of something, but still you have this knowledge, still you have this connection, still you are like very um, favored and very close to God, very close to creator, and they don't like that, okay? So they, so it has to be demons, but again, like, I feel like for some of you, uh, pal number four, these people are active devil worshippers, and they're trying to smear that onto you, okay? But don't be afraid of this, because that's bullshit. We all know who, we all know who has the last say in the end. We all know, uh, uh, because it's really up to God come judgment day. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting here, okay? Uh, so do know, somebody does perceive you as very, very, I'm even hearing intelligent, very intelligent, very divinely connected, very much in um, connection with spirit and consciousness and the other. Um, but I also feel like even if they are actual devil worshippers, I even feel even then they're in some way afraid of you because they don't understand how you know the things you know, how you do what you do. And so they they perceive you as the enemy. Even if they are actual fucking devil worshippers, still they would perceive you as evil or fucking dark or I don't know. This person or these people are just like, uh, I feel I, I want to say I'm feeling they are blinded by their own hatred, by their own hubris even, okay, by their own lack of humility, their ignorant arrogance or something. And I feel like all these things that I'm mentioning is how they perceive you, but <sighs> real peace of what the fuck ever. Thank you so much, part number four. That was your reading. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you again for another one. Bye. Welcome.